Hi everyone, we wanted to update the latest weather outlook for you as we have two significant events that will unfold and impact the weather in Southern California. The first one is cold, windy storm with low elevation snow on Monday, then possibly an atmospheric river for the end of the week. So we are looking at several impacts, including high wind, heavy rain, and the snowfall, but especially the low elevation snowfall. Let's take a quick look at what storm just went through. We saw widespread precipitation in San Diego County on Saturday, and it snowed above 4,000 feet with one to five inches occurring. You can see some places had around a half inch up to an inch in parts of the coastal and inland areas of San Diego County, a little bit more in the mountains. Now further north, same story, widespread precipitation Heaviest across Orange County and parts of the foothills where widespread half inch occurred. There were some locations up around an inch in the San Bernardino Mountains and it snowed above 3,500 feet mostly, but some of the snow occurred all the way down into the high desert around 2,500 feet during the night hours. Quite a cold storm system across Southern California for the weekend. We can also see some of the snow on satellite as shown here. Now there are a lot of clouds and cumulus across the area, but peeking through, there is some signs of snow in the high desert on the satellite. Here are the highlights of two more storms coming our way. Precipitation increases tonight through Monday morning. So increasing showers, snow level around 4,000 feet, but it's gonna fall rapidly with a strong, strong cold front. Snow accumulation down to between two to 3,000 feet possible on Monday. We also look for possible wind damage on Monday, including areas on the coast from the southwest winds shifting to the west. We're also gonna have some heavy rainfall rates in some of the bands of showers and even a possible thunderstorm. That would be about a quarter inch to at most a half inch per hour in the areas receiving that heavy rain. Overall, we are looking at one to two inches of rainfall, except less in parts of the Inland Empire and Orange County, as well as the deserts. Now, we then turn to a potential for atmospheric river, a milder storm tapping into tropical moisture, coming in slowly on Thursday and arriving in the region Thursday into Friday. We could see some moderate to heavy rainfall with that storm with additional totals of a half inch to an inch and a half of new rainfall. The snow levels will be higher, so more confined to the highest elevations in the ski areas. The threat to the burn scars does look more significant because of a milder storm coming in late in the week and then the heavy rain on top. So we are looking for significant impacts because of the windy cold storm on Monday and then the milder but still significant rainfall late in the week. Now take a look at this map here. This is the projection of two storms, so total precipitation. You can see our mountain areas widespread two to three inches between the two storms this week, and our urban areas widespread one to two inches. Some of that's spilling over into the deserts. Now also, the wind on Monday will be significant as a vigorous, strong Arctic blast of air moves through the region. We are expecting strong southwest winds shifting to the west. We'll see gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour on the coast and even stronger gusts in the desert slopes as shown here in the deep red. Some of this wind could be damaging, including on the coast. Now the rainfall for storm number one Sunday night through Monday night, looks like San Diego County will do the best with the most significant precipitation and widespread because of the storm coming directly from the north. Areas across far northern Orange County, while they still receive around an inch of rainfall, it'll taper off quickly. You can see the mountain areas in yellow, widespread one to close to two and a half inches. Here's a look at the snowfall map, and this is going to occur starting early Monday, rolling in through early Tuesday. So storm number one looks to produce significant snowfall. The main impact will be the low elevation snow 
all the way down to the Cajon Pass, affecting Interstate 8 in San Diego County and many of our state highways with several inches of snow. Our mountain communities look like they'll receive anywhere from 5 to 10 inches of snow and even some higher totals in San Diego County due to the more persistent showers. Very cold air moving through our region. We look for even higher amounts of snow across our ski areas up to a foot and a half. Now here's a look at temperatures on Monday. Blustery cold, don't usually use those words in Southern California. Not getting out of the 50s on the coast, not getting out of the 20s in the mountains where the heavy snow will be occurring. Very cold day on Monday. So if you are traveling, plan accordingly for snow covered roadways and frigid temperatures and gusty winds. This is the weather pattern. It's coming directly down from the north, right out of Alaska, carving down the coast of California and parking itself over Southern California and Nevada on Tuesday. So the main impact quickly moves in early Monday morning with this Arctic polar system coming down from the north. Very cold temperatures. Now we look at a different storm set up for late in the week. It does come from the north, but it parks over the ocean, Eastern Pacific, and it modifies and pulls in tropical moisture from the south, and that's why we're calling it an atmospheric river. That setup is for Thursday and Friday. The storm is over Southern California by Friday, as shown here. This is what we mean by atmospheric river. Since the storm is parked over the Eastern Pacific and it is modifying, it will allow it to pull in tropical moisture as shown here. This brings significant rain to all of coastal and inland California. And then it slowly pushes south as shown here, reaching Southern California sometime Thursday night into early Friday, late in the week. Here are the highlights. Check your location out. Heavy snow is our main concern. We'll also see some heavy rainfall and rainfall rates in our urban areas and high winds along our coastal areas and our desert slopes. Some of the snowfall will be very significant, even accumulations down to 2,500 feet as shown here. Most mountain communities getting anywhere from five inches to up to a foot of snow with even more for our ski areas. So this does impact major highways such as Interstate 8 and 15, along with state highways 74 and 78. So please plan accordingly on Monday. This will be coming in rapidly as early as Sunday night and early Monday morning. There are the highlights for you. High winds, coast to desert with this strong polar system moving through. Heavy snowfall will be widespread in our upper elevations and some rare elevation snow down to 2,000 feet. Significant precipitation locally heavy, especially in San Diego County where this pattern is favored. We do have a new storm that is expected for late in the week, Thursday and Friday, and that's gonna be an atmospheric river with more potential for significant precipitation. Check the latest warnings and advisories at weather.gov or you can monitor the weather at the link shown here.